on this week's DeWeese Directive, how to increase your collection rate, how to get more of what you earn in your voiceover business. Also, how to take feedback and use it to build you up rather than to allow it to tear you down. Stay close. Hey, how are you doing? Bill DeWeese here from voice-over-training.org. And just a quick reminder that if you're not signed up on my email list yet, do so today at voice-over-training.org because when you do, not only do you get uh, all the information first and all the great stuff that I put out, but also you can download my free audio program, Seven Steps to a Successful Voiceover Career. Well, today I want to talk about uh, not getting voiceover work, but getting paid once you do the voiceover work, the collections side of the equation. My collection rate has, is consistently near 100%, 99.7% to be exact. But who's counting, right? And that's over the course of hundreds of jobs and hundreds of thousands of dollars a year. So it's a lot of work. That's not just coming from one or two jobs. That's spread out over a lot of work over the course of a year. And I'm getting almost all of it. How do I do that? It's because I treat collections like I treat everything else that I do. I treat it as a marketing function. Now, for our purposes here, I'll define marketing as creating and maintaining awareness in your target audience. So you've got to create the awareness. You've got to say, hey, I'm here. But then you have to maintain the awareness by keep saying periodically in appropriate ways, hey, I'm still here. So they don't forget about you. A lot of people don't get paid in any kind of business, whether it's voiceover or any other business, because they're not good at making sure their customers, their clients, never forget them. Most clients intend to pay. Now, that's not to say there are not a few out there who will try to pull one over on you. It happens. It's part of business. But by and large, the vast majority of clients intend to pay. But sometimes they just, you know, they get caught up in everything that's going on in their business, as you can appreciate as somebody who operates your own business and your own voiceover career. And sometimes you're not top priority because they forget about you. They're overwhelmed with the current pressing issues and you take a back seat in their mind. So find ways to make sure to stay in touch to say, hey, I'm still here. Hey, did you receive my invoice? Hey, just checking on the status of my latest invoice. Because if you do that professionally and friendly and consistently, you will get paid. Now let's talk about the performance tip for the day. And that is taking criticism and using it or feedback. Let's call it feedback because it's a more positive word, right? And using it for your benefit to help you grow as a voice talent. I remember my first big recording session by big meaning it paid a lot of money and uh it was actually booked in a an outside studio it wasn't here i was actually on the road it was over christmas and it was very early in my career and uh they they were willing to book it at the nearest studio that i was at that had isdn so they could connect me the client was in texas i was going to be in ohio and so they made arrangements for me to stop at a studio in columbus to do the session and i remember with it being the first session of that kind for me i was nervous you know, I had a bit of apprehension. I was excited, but I was I was nervous all at the same time because I wanted to make sure that I did it right. And I really, my, my thought process was, Bill, get this right on the first take. Show them you're a pro. Get it right the first time. That's an unrealistic expectation because it's not always about getting it right or wrong. One of the things you have to understand about recording voiceovers and working with a producer is that a producer will often, almost always, as a matter of fact, want multiple takes of things so that they can get uh, in post-production when they're making all of the final decisions, they want to listen to it, maybe get others feedback, put it up against the video and the music they'll be using to make the best choice. So the feedback that you often receive in a recording session, hey, uh, let's try this this time. Hey, can you slow this down? Hey, can you put more emphasis on this word? Uh, Let's do this with a little more smile this time. This time, let's make it a little more serious. It doesn't necessarily mean that you did it incorrectly the time before. It just means that they want to bring out the best in you, but also in these different types of read styles so that they have the best material to work with. So use it to your advantage. This is your chance to really think of it. I always think of it as practice as well as being a real paid job because I have the chance to work with a producer who's, uh, I love the gymnastics they put me through. I mean, some, some of these producers will work you very hard, but I love it because I love the challenge of trying to accomplish what it is they want me to do. I love it when the client is happy and I love to be challenged. So I want to challenge you to, be, to put on those glasses and to th- see your recording sessions in that way. 
Uh, embrace the feedback. Take it as you didn't do something wrong, but they want to try you in a different way, in a different style, so that they can get the best read and enjoy the experience. Hey, just a quick reminder, you may have heard I do a monthly voiceover fast track program. It's done live. It's done virtually online where we can see and talk to each other in a small group setting. And these classes have been filling out pretty far in advance. My next class is coming up in January, and there are still some seats available. If you're interested, and by the way, we do it over four weeks, four Thursday night sessions uh, for 90 minutes each evening, and we cover all of the big foundational areas uh, of voiceover, and you, and you, you allow, or we allow for time for me to give you direct feedback on your reads to help you improve, to gain more confidence, more skill, to make you a marketable voiceover talent. For information on that, simply drop me an email at voiceoverexpert at gmail.com. And in the subject, you can put Fast Track, and I'll get the information right out to you. Hey, all the best to you, and I look forward to talking to you soon.